so like I keep saying, we'll just have to keep our eye on it. Especially this. And our last Nubian province has changed to Breton culture. What? Okay, I just had the Zionist, the Zionids form here. And they it's like the eighth or ninth time that they've formed. What the crap? <laughs> and they're a, they're a vassal of the Hamimids. What the hell? Well, I guess the Hamimids got kicked out. Like wherever they were. I don't know. Emirate of Fez needs to give up, though. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, it looks like the County of Leon is taking care of business. Oh, the Duchy of Luxembourg. Good job, Luxembourg. Looks like the tide might be turning. Probably not. <laughs> Ooh, looks like it might be turning the other way. Well, back to watching stuff. And it looks like uh, our Norman friend, oddly enough, has uh, has converted his province of Sinai to Breton as well. So that's that's really awesome. Uh, it doesn't look like they're doing anything. Uh, um, Joseb has given his uh, one of his provinces to his his uh, prince, or his son, uh, Gwezeneg. And look at this kid. This kid is awesome. Um, very nice. Prodigy. Midas touched. This kid's great. He'll be a great duke when he dies. Uh, just hopefully soon. Because he's rebellious, and I don't like him. And he's... Even though he's friends with us, he's rebellious. Whatever. Uh... You know, it's, it's nothing personal. But he is a rival with Roger and, and, and Dertislav, the Darumian, Darumites. He, his army has left. Uh, so we really need to pay attention to make sure that nobody nobody comes and snags it. Um, so, yeah. Looks like they got a new king. Who's slightly better than he was before. Okay, I think we want to deal with him before this kid uh, becomes uh, the Sheik so that we the provinces don't go away. Uh, because it's harder to capture provinces when uh, you can't capture all of the all of the area of the province. Now, um, my reputation is at minus one, which would normally mean I, I would start expanding, but uh, this little uh, demonstration uh, still hasn't gone through. Um, I think I need to give him a couple more uh, thousand gold to get him up high enough, and then hopefully by then my reputation will drop to about you know, 0.6 or, or 0.8, so, uh, and then we'll, we'll kind of see uh, that a little bit of work in that department will pay off, if not... Um, and uh, once we do that, we're going to be wanting to do a little bit of reorganization, um, which is going to cost us some bad boy. Uh, and then after that, depending on what, how our, our situation looks, we might start going into these provinces. So, uh, so yeah. Okay, uh, why must I go to school today instead of playing Who's Afraid of the Black Knight with my friends? Uh... I believe this will only trigger if he does have friends. I'm not sure of that, but the wording wouldn't make sense if it didn't. Um, you could say you can only play after school, and he has a 50% chance of getting modest, a 30% chance of getting reckless, and a 20% chance of getting shy. Uh, none of which are especially bad. Um, you could say play all you like then. He has a 50% chance of getting reckless, a 30% chance of getting... Er, a 50% a chance of getting gregarious, I should say. A 30% chance of valorous and a 20% chance of reckless. Um, again, none of those are especially bad. Or, or we can say, you can play with a birch if you like, go to school. 
and uh, he's a 50% chance of getting hostile, a 30% chance of getting shy, and a 20% chance of deceitful. Uh, deceitful is bad, so we don't want to do this. Um, I think we're going to tell him you can play all he likes. And he gets reckless, which raises his intrigue, so that's cool. Uh, as kind of a consequence of our alliance with Sicily, we pretty much have a, uh, a, a perfect view of the Mediterranean to pretty much here. Um, from what we can see, uh, the Almohads uh, have started sending their troops. And you can see here, this is where Darum's troops are going this way, and the Kingdom of Almohad's troops are coming this way. So, basically, uh, they're going to get to Darum before Darum gets to their place. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to declare war on the Almohad's. and basically make them come back or whatever. Now this is basically so that we can take control of the province uh, and then uh, when they make landfall great. When they make landfall in Darum we can move our troops over there. See they are here. This is England. England has a huge army. What are they doing? Who are England at war with? The Turks. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Hopefully they kick the Turks' ass. Um, they're doing their own crusade thing. Now, I'm not really worried about them landing in our territory. We are way too strong for them. Um... Uh, there is no way they can beat us. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, anywhere they land on this coast, they're going to have they're going to be outnumbered at least 3 to 1. So, uh, and it looks like our our vassals are gearing up to attack people too. So So yeah, that's great. Uh, I've gotten him up to to 161. That's great. And I've started capturing this province. So let's watch and see what happens. This kind of isn't the war we were expecting to get. Uh, and I don't think I have to look too closely at this. I'm going to have to pay attention to see what where the troops are. And I lost them. Some of Venice's troops. Okay, there's the Yamahats. Uh, they use Volt. Where'd they go? Why can't I see this now? Because of Venice's troops. Okay. I don't know why they keep appearing in Mecca. That's stupid. And there's Septa, which is another person at war with them. But they're also at war with Armenia Minor, so they might be going after them. I think so, because they moved out of this area and they would have gone to here, to this water. Okay, this is because of this. Uh, we can... Okay. 
we get three options. Uh, all the events called, my lord, there are heretics in our domain, what shall we do? Uh, we can choose fight heresy and create an Inquisition Tribunal. So we should do the Egyptian Inquisition. Which has a nice ring to it. Uh, we can fight the heresy and create the, an Inquisition tribun Tribunal. The advance, the Inquisition is gained. Which basically makes it easier for them to fight uh, the the uh, heathens and stuff in provinces uh, and kick out uh, Muslims and stuff. It's basically there to, to help convert Spain uh, and stuff. Uh, and our clergy loyalty goes up, our burger loyalty goes down, the peasant loyalty goes down a lot. Um, as you can tell, I've put my clergy loyalty up a lot to try to get rid of this, and this is probably what it's doing. We can tolerate them. Our clergy loyalty goes down, and our piety goes down. You can encourage new and interesting ideas, and our present loyalty goes up by about 40. Well, by 40. Clergy loyalty goes down by 40. Our burger loyalty goes up by 20. And the pi our piety is re reduced by 25. There really seems to be no difference between these two, uh, aside from the peasant loyalty stuff. Uh, but we're crusaders. We're going to fight. We're going to fight them. Uh, and hopefully this will go away sooner rather than later. Uh, just keeping an eye on things. And... Oh, Cyrenaeci is going to land some troops. Now what I might do is I might... Uh, I might pull my troops out so that he captures the provinces and I don't get any... I don't get any penalty. I don't get any bad boy or anything uh, if he captures the province, uh, which would be cool. Well, we'll just have to wait and see what he does. All right, he's landed. All right, we're pulling out. We're gonna let him do his thing. And he pulled up those troops, so that's cool. Uh, I'm gonna let them stay this time. Giz is an important province. see what he does. And he captured the province. So we have rescued Darum from the perils of uh, the Muslims. So that's excellent. And uh, we've kind of used a, a game mechanic to to work it so that uh, we didn't get any bad boy from it. Which is great. Uh, Obviously, their troops disappeared, so Darum is now safe. And we're no longer at war, so they'll get rid of these troops eventually. Uh, our reputation's down to 0. 0.9. And then, in two months, we can give him another gift of 1,000 gold. I can give him, like, smaller increments of gold, but uh, it's not really worth it. These guys might actually capture Septa now. As a matter of fact, they probably will, since Septa left their troops. Um, and they're going to go fight the Armenians. Germany? Yeah, these are Germany. Provence is part of Germany, I think, right now. Yep. So, Germany is fighting North Africa. That's cool. Uh, nothing much changed in Spain. Oh, but over here, oh, it looks like the uh, the uh, people are reattacking the provinces. We captured this one. Now, Morvids have really started taking it to the Kingdom of Brittany. So. Or the former kingdom of Brittany, I might say. Let's keep our eye on stuff. And here they are. Attacking Septa.